Hey everyone, Mark Price here at devslopes.com, and we're going to conclude our um, section on working with the shell. It, like I said, it's not that complicated, and I want to first show you just a delete, how to delete records. So it's not very much different from what we did before, db.products.delete. Ah, <laughs> you're like, oh, that's easy. Uh, specify the criteria. So delete all um, pink cars. That, that line of cars did not sell and uh, the boss wants us to get rid of it. So product name, so pink car. So we're gonna find all pink cars, like so. And then we wanna delete it. Oops. I uh, created, I did the, I put in the wrong thing here. Um, it's, uh, I've, <laughs> I've been working with the APIs too much. It's uh, remove. So db.products.remove. And we're going to say uh, product name and then uh, pink car. There we go. Much better. Product name db.products. Oh, again, look at that. Prod cuts. I spelled that wrong again. Uh, just so you know, this is this is very typical. Uh, you will find yourself, if you play around with this shell, you will find yourself doing very naughty things. There we go. Spelled correctly this time. Third time's a charm, right? There we go. Now it removed two, so they're gone. So db.products.find. Let's find all of them. Dot pretty. And there are no pink cars. They're out of the store. Okay, so we can remove things by using the uh, remove command. I mean, uh, you've you've done this before. Uh, if you want to get rid of only one of them, um, let's say I only want had, wanted to get rid of that first one, what I could have done was uh, in here. Okay, this inside of the remove and then product name pink car. I could have specified another one here that says just one, and then I could set this to tr to true <laughs> to true. Okay. And that would have removed just one of the pink cars, okay, by specifying just one. Now, how do we learn about all the different things we can do? Because there are many different things we can do, you know, the just one, or what if you want to update all records where, like, the price is greater than 15 or below? Can we do all those things? And the answer is yes, you absolutely can. Uh, we're not going to cover all those things because we're just getting into the basics here. Uh, but what I do recommend that you do, okay, is you go over here to this documentation and and this is at uh, docs.mongodb.com slash getting dash started slash shell slash insert. Uh, and you can go to your insert. You can go to find or query data. And there's a bunch of really cool uh, things that it teaches you here that we didn't even go over. Uh, GT, you know, greater than 30, less than, okay. And it's very similar to what we've been doing. You can copy and paste these to try them out. Um, you can do logical and and ors, you know, or find this or this. Lot, lots of cool things. So do go through these documents if you really want to want to um, find something. Of course, the documentation for MongoDB is fantastic. This is the beginner documentation. They have their their regular documentation, which covers all the all the depths uh, of what you can do. Okay, from security to text search to tons of different things. Okay, and yes, you can store you can store uh, or insert multiple things at once. So. Really good stuff here. We're gonna build. We're gonna actually build um, an API that uh, talks to a Mongo database. Simple little API uh, that you could eventually use to have uh, with a front end app that connects to it. And so we're gonna show. We're gonna talk about how to do all that and get Mongoose uh, in place and actually have a real working app. So we're not working in the shell. So let's move on and forward to greater things. Mark Price here at DevSlopes.com.